Hello, we are Nadia, Celia, and Morelia, and we are going to talk about Crash, an analysis about humans and technologies in Ballard's novel. In this work, we are going to talk about Crash, what is it about, to understand the context of the novel, and after that, we are going to talk about the influence of postmodernism in Ballard's novel, Crash. And after that, our classmate Nadia is going to do an analysis of the novel and the main characters. And after, um, after Nadia explains that, uh, Celia is going to talk about metafiction in Crash and Ballard in Death uh, Drive. Humans and technologies is a topic that makes us think about robots and machines taking over the world as we know it. And we also imagine our future world surrounded by technologies and robots controlling us. And this future may not be so far away as we imagine in books and films. Well, robots may not have revealed against humans, but technology has a bigger impact in our lives, in human life, li lives than we are than we are conscious. And in this work, we we propose to analyze the impact of technologies on human on humanity. And well, we want to explain it in relation to Baller's novel Crash the first pornographic novel based in, in technology. Crash, what is it about? Well, Crash opens with our main character, James Ballard, uh, who starts describing an accident where Robert Bone has died and he dies in, in a car crash. Uh, Ballard describes with all detail how Vaughn have been planning this 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 car crash and how it wasn't an accident. Uh, the scene takes place in the future and well Ballard narrates all the facts that mm, led to this moment and it's important to know that after this scene, Ballard also had a, himself, a, he, a, he, he had also a, a car crash. And this car crash made him to, to change uh, his, his vision of sexuality. And he begins to, to, to have a new sexual desire and in this new sexual desire, he finds car crushing like a, like pleasing, like a pleasure. And in this experience, this new new vision of uh, sex sexuality, he meets Vaughn, who is an ex an expert in this in this. Um, in this fa in this sexual desire and he he Ballard he he sees how Vaughn plans all his his car crashing just for pleasure and Ballard starts following him follow following Vaughn and they start a relationship that it, it's not just a friendship it, it's it also has a Valor has an attraction for Vaughn and well uh, it's like a, it's a weird relationship because they are just attracted in a car and Vaughn Vaughn's interests in crushes turns into an obsession uh, that um, ends up in, in a 
in near death. He born uh, dies in attempt to reach all his his desires, his highest desires. Influence of postmodernism in Ballard's novel. Well, to understand this novel, it's important to understand also the background. And the background, uh, we, we can ask what it involves, uh, what ideas and principles uh, it was based on, or what were its influences too. Well, in the 20th century, a new way of thinking emerged as an opposition of, of the modern ideas, modern thinking. And capitalism and consumerism were two important concepts in this, in this time. Um, but in literature, we can say that uh, writers were trying to, to look for um, more realistic literature. And Ballard was a, a, a follower of all these ideas. Well, uh, this book was written uh, when technology was was uh, gaining more importance or gaining more power, and it was becoming member of our of our lives. It was published in 19, 1973. And at this time, cars, automobiles were, were the principal uh, technology, the predominant technology. And well, nowadays we can say that it's the internet or Androids, I, I don't know, but internet, it's something that we, we all have, it, we all have access. And well, Ballard, at this time, he realized how technologies were becoming um, part of, of or intimate lives or existences. And this is how uh, po postmodernism as, as a philosophy talks about the consuming world and we can call it like a simulacra simulation. This idea um, is a, a postmodern theory about the fictionally, uh, fictionally, uh, the fictionality of reality and blurred reality, and and in in. In Ballard's novel, we can see this blurred reality. And for example, when he says that um, that body, no, technology, sorry, it's an extension of the body of the human body. We can see her here how how he 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 relates human with technology. Here we have our relation of humans and technology. And well, in this, in this novel, uh, we can find a political intention other than the, the sexual content. And uh, the car, a car, the, the shape of the car, the idea of the car, it's an important symbol, symbol, and we can interpret it as a sexual metaphor, but it, it is also a, a metaphor of the social life of the, the contemporary human. Um, well, Baller, Baller talks about temptations and how how the universe of simulation and how we are tempted to to live through this this technology and how 
how we are becoming slaves of, of the technology. And we, we, we don't realize about it. We, we, we do it unconsciously. Well, um, technology is, is represented through cars, as we said before. And yeah, uh, cars are a metaphor of how uh, modernity culture, modernity humans are becoming slaves of it. When analyzing the characters of the novel, we find two main characters, James Ballard and Robert Bolland. First, we will talk about James Ballard, who is the narrator and protagonist, but who's also named as the writer himself. James Ballard is a normal person, married and with a stable job, but his life starts changing as he suffers a car accident. He then, uh, then starts experiencing an awakening sexuality connected to automobiles. In the novel, we find there is an explicit description on how Ballard starts perceiving se people's sexuality around him. The character starts experiencing a different kind of sexual relationship with his wife, his secretary, whom he's having an affair with, and even the woman who he had a the car accident against with. So Ballard's sexual vision about cars opens a wide new range of possibilities for him. This character of James Ballard is a representation of how Ballard the writer establishes in an interview that modern technologies gave us the possibilities of our own psychopathologies to play with almost unrestricted freedom. And well, then we find Robert Bogan who's a milk television famous that represents the pattern of violent imagery taken into reality. At the beginning of the novel, we find that Bogan has died in an attempt to reach his biggest desires. Then, Ballard himself starts exposing how he, uh, Bogan's sexual inclinations end up turning into an obsession that leads to his death. First, when we are introduced to Bogan, the character is presented as appealing and mysterious, which give us a sense of attraction to him. But as the novel continues, we find how the excessive use of these technologies may not all be beneficial as Bogan is presented as mysterious appearing and at the end of the novel he's dead because of this excessive use through Bala's work we observe a reality explained through technology. In this case, cars and serious accidents that the protagonist defines as arousing and relates to them to something erotic and sexual. The stories of these acts can be described as crude, rude, violent, and above all, unpleasant, to the point that it is difficult to continue reading. If we analyze these descriptions, we see how the authors purpose is to cause an impact on the reader by creating a parallel between the material of technologies and cars and the physicality of sexual relations. We can see this form of narration as a technique to make us react and see the world in which we are living and he shows us sexuality and everything as a dehumanization of humanity that is taking place in the technological world around us an affectionless society. As Ballard himself said in an interview, Crash is an extreme hypothesis of the dangers that modern technologies have created. So if we start uh, to analyze Crash from the beginning, we observe how from the first pages the protagonist presents us a relationship with cars and crashes that goes beyond the physical or sexual that the protagonist defines as marriage. For Bogan, the car crash and his own sexuality have made their final marriage. Uh, as the novel says, I remember him at night with nervous young women in the crash rear compartments of abandoned cars in Breaker Yard. 
and their photographs in the postures of an easy sex act. Ballard, the writer, creates a description of Bogan with the protagonist before immersing himself in his world saw him as insane and perverse. We can make a similarity with how from the outside we can get to see a person obsessed with the novelty to which we are subsequently subjected. As his obs obsessions were self-evidently those of a madman, Barra states in the novel. For him, these ones were the keys to a new sexuality born from a perverse technology. We can see how Ballard uses the words as madman and perverse to describe Bogan, but still finds attraction to him. He is able to see how this man is mad, but can escape from this attraction. It is after his accident that Ballard dives into this world where Bogan takes him on his same path. It is then during the whole thing of the novel that we find sexual scenes mixed with accidents, amputations, scars, wounds, semen, irons, a steering wheel, dashboard. All this together composes the whole of the novel. In this line of complex relations, we consider the idea of metafiction. Well, as we said before, the novel Well, Ballard also introduces the idea of death drive through their protagonist and their attraction to death and inanimate things and what this entails, that in this case is destruction and chaos. It leads to a chaotic state. This term is really linked to mental health and self-destruction and pain that we can clearly see in Crush. This tendency, which appears unconsciously, has the purpose of attuning human being to his state of disintegration with where we come from. Fred, the, the author of the theory, defines this concept in relation to sexuality and its body arousal as, as an impulse that leads to death itself. We check some we have checked some articles. We we mention a couple on our work and we mention an article from Christopher Cosilla and another from Bordillard. And Christopher Cosilla states that Ballard portrays history as a accumulation of automobile accidents in which each death, including his own, leaves a mark and mm, entails a path towards death, which is the final purpose. 
and mm, the author creates uh, a collection of destructive events that involve evolve towards death that relate and guide everything towards death and it's the need the need of death itself uh, the purpose of life and the other article I've mentioned is the Baudrillard one and he explains how the novel clearly present the this theory Fred's theory and he um, states that ballads erotizing of the car crash doesn't radicalize Fred's theory of the death drive on the contrary crash depicts a bourgeois utopia in which the death drive and its attendant perversions sadism masochism have been liquidated in a new rationalism which reduces the death drive simply to death well to conclude we could say the ballad's novel crash is actually an apocalyptic novel where sadomasochism and obsession with sex and car technologies are mixed in an obsessive and insane way. Um, the novel warns about the erotic fascination that the technology produces. Um, this lack of feelings and emotions, the dehumanization has prepared the way to the excitement caused by suffering and mutilation. So we could take this as a social experiment where we observe a criticism of the dehumanization of people. And Ballard uh, uses technology as a way to understand better the desperation of human beings to find humanity in a dehumanized society that is slave to technology and we could, we could conclude saying that crash is a clear critic to society nowadays and that was all thank you very much